Hello, hello everyone. My name is Laura. This is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which are my spooky book recommendations. I have here a bunch of spooky books that I have read and really enjoyed and would love to recommend to you guys. If you are looking for some spooky books, the spooky season. For me, spooky season starts in like September, but that's not the case for everybody, so I thought I'd do this video more so in October, a little bit closer to actually Halloween. So I have this video divided into two parts. The first part that we're gonna go through are the just thriller horror books, and then the second half is going to be Dark Academia, as that is one of my favorite spooky specific genres. So I wanted to have it have its own little section here, but without further ado, let's get started. So first up in the thriller section, I have more of a gothic horror, and that is Mexican Gothic by Sylvia Moreno Garcia. I read this last year. I absolutely loved it. It was so, like, creepy. It's one of those books that gives you creepy vibes, like things aren't really wrong until you really find out what's wrong at the end. So if you're just looking to get that little Ooh, what's going on in this house or with these people? That's This is the book that you should pick up. It follows our main character. That she lives in Mexico City, but her cousin recently got married to this very rich white guy, and they're a little concerned for her, and then she writes a very concerning letter home. So our main character goes to visit them and figure out if her cousin is okay, what's going on, etc. and so forth. Definitely, if you like haunted house or families that aren't quite right vibes, this is definitely the one to go for. Now, if you're not afraid of a little COVID-19 quarantine thriller, then I would recommend 56 Days by Katherine Ryan Howard. This is it takes place in Ireland as COVID has hit and everyone is going into lockdown. And it is a dual timeline of this couple just, just barely met each other. Um, and we're just starting to go out when all of a sudden quarantine hits and they decide to move in together and quarantine together. So this is at the very beginning of that and in the second half when one of them winds up dead and it takes them a very long time to figure out what happened because it's quarantine, nobody's doing anything. So you've just got a body sitting there in an apartment. So if you like quarantine thrillers, or dual timeline, this would be a good one for you to pick up if you can handle the COVID-19 aspects. Which COVID-19 isn't too prevalent, but like, we all lived through it, so we know. we know. If you like family drama in your thrillers, then I've got two books for you here. The first one is The Cousins by Karen and McManus. This deals with the grandkids of a very rich family. Grandma had disinherited all of her children and has made them leave the island that their family owns, that they have a little resort on. Then all of a sudden one day the grandkids all get a letter inviting them to work for the resort for the grandmother. And they're, as they're working there, they're uncovering lots of family secrets with twisty endings and it was, it was very good. The other book I would recommend is Insomnia. This book is about the daughter of a woman who, when she turned 40, went just completely insane and lost it. She had really bad insomnia and she was doing these crazy things in the night, muttering things, going places, doing, holding, uh, all kinds of creepy things. And so we're following her daughter in the week leading up to her 40th birthday as she is afraid that she's going to end up like her mother. And then she stops sleeping. This book creeped me out. Like, it was so spooky. Literally from page one, it started the spook and just kept up the spook throughout the entire book. Just creepy things happening. Her character being like, I'm not sleeping. I'm gonna, what am I doing? What just happened? Wait a minute. And just how she's losing it. Just like her mother. And it's so creepy. And then at the end, you're like, wait a minute, what? Wait, what, wait, what? That was my reaction for the ending. So if you look forward to a domestic 
thriller with just a little bit of <laughs> then that would be a good one for you to pick up. If you are a big fan of the <laughs> kind of more gory side of horror thriller, I would highly recommend House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland. This book really creeped me out last year and I absolutely adored it for it. it we follow three sisters who went missing and then when they came back had like white hair, super pale, super pretty, and they just weren't quite the same. And so all of a sudden, one of their sisters in modern day goes missing. And so they have to go and try and figure out what happened to her that also ends up digging up secrets from their past of what happened to them because they don't have any memory of what happened. It is hoary. There were jump scares in this. Like even just talking about it, I'm getting spooked out again. Just remembering the really creepy figure that, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay. Sorry. I think this book scared me the most out of all the books that I recommend. So if you love jump scares, if you love horror films, if you like, there's a slight nature theme. In the oh, it was just so good. Just so good. Just pick it up. <laughs> just, just, just pick it up. Okay. Okay. Great. <laughs> and then the final thriller horror book that I am recommending for you is if you like slashers. I haven't read a lot of slashers, but I think I do like them. So I read this book and I adored it and a lot of people read it last year, but if you missed out on that hype, well here you go. The Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix. It, he literally took all of the final girls from various films and movies, he took the characters, gave those characters the first name of the actor or actress, I think they're all women, actress that played them and put them in a support group. Said, okay, you all survived horrible events. Let's process this together. So you've got that wonderful, interesting mix of all these different characters and personalities. And then on top of that, the final girls start getting slaughtered. So we follow one final girl who's trying to figure it out. Will she be the final girl of the final girls? Will they all make it out alive? Will they all die? You will just have to read the book to find out. But I would, like I said, if you love a thrasher with lots of like red herrings or was it this, is it this person, what's going on? What, who knows about the support group? Because nobody should have known about the support group. Then pick this one up, my friend. You should do it. I just watched They Slash Them, which is a queer thrasher movie, and it was not as bad as I was expecting it to be. It wasn't super great, but also it was pretty good. I'm just gonna throw that out there as like a movie recommendation, because it scares you both in the terms of it's a slasher, but also the fact that it's a conversion camp, and if you're queer, that is really, really scary to watch. Anyway. So now let's move on to my favorite genre for spooky season, Dark Academia. I've got three Dark Academia books that I will be recommending to you, and they're all very different types. So hopefully you will find one that piques your fancy and can pick it up this spooky season. I'm going to start off with my most recently read, uh, it came out earlier this year, it's the author's debut novel, and that is My Dearest Darkest by Kayla Cottingham. This is the sort of book where you've got two queer girls who, and their friends, who accidentally summon a demon and now are getting all these wonderful things from this demon. She can't be a demon, right? She's just a ghost who needs help. Until she starts asking for body parts. Then you're kind of rethinking and digging into that town lore, being like, what's going on? So trigger warnings for body horror, but it is such a gripping book. It had spooky scenes in there that got me to shiver. I could not put it down. I was constantly trying to figure out what was going on, what was happening, who was... Uh, because our main character should have died at the very beginning of the book. And then she didn't, but her hair turned white and she got super pale, so like, she's alive. She's going to the school, and there's a ghost. So, try and figure that one out, yeah? Read this book. It was a good one. I liked it a lot. So the first one had really good spool, school spooky vibes. It was on this old campus, way up north, dreary kind of spooky area. 
This is a very different, this is much more of a fantasy dark academia. It was my favorite book of last year and I just read the second book in the trilogy and the third one just came out. That is A Deadly Education and then the second book that I just finished is The Last Graduate and the third book that just came out are The Golden Enclaves. I adored this so much. You have an unlikable main character who is supposed to become a dark wizard but doesn't want to become a dark wizard. But how this magic system works is that all the kids who are going to the school are randomly sucked up from wherever they are and dropped into a school in the middle of the void with a whole bunch of creatures that are trying to kill you. The school is trying to kill you as you learn. There are no adults, there are no teachers, there are no professors. Assignments just appear and you best do them. Another reason why I really loved this book is that our main character is on the language track focus and I love languages, it's a personal thing of mine, and so much like Babel by R.F. Kwan that just came out, it is a language heavy dark academia. So if you love Babel, I haven't read it yet, but I'm about to read it and I know I'm going to love it, but if that's just the kind of thing that floats your boat, this is definitely going to get you. So it's spooky in a very different way. And finally, the last book that I have to recommend, I'm being so dramatic in this video, I'm so dramatic. Anyway, but The Last Dark Academia and the last book that I'm going to recommend is A Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee. I read this not during spooky season and it creeped me right out. I loved it. You've got an unreliable narrator. There was an incident that happened and she is a writer. And so how her school works is that you can apply to get into these like really intense communities, like living communities, kind of like a special dorm or a house. Um, and so she has gotten into the one for writers and everyone has like these really intense, like everyone's a writer and it's really cool. And so she is trying to live past the trauma of what happened last year and just finish her schooling. There's a new kid and this new kid has already won like the Pulitzer Prize, was it? For her book. And she is now transferred to that school and she is in the same living community as our main character. And she, everyone loves this person. They are just, they're so looked up to because of their writing success as like a high school student. So they are drigging up details of the traumatic event that happened last year. And we are figuring out what happened last year along with our main character because uh, she just, she's so unreliable. She doesn't know what's going on at all. And I love this. I read it in a day. I was gripped from beginning to end. I just could not put it down. It made me so happy. The writing aspect, because like she uses a typewriter. And then the school aspect and just, oh, it was so good. So if you have not, rec if you have not picked this up, and love those kinds of vibes, like literally as dark and academic as you can get. This is the ultimate. So those are all the books that I have to recommend to you today. I hope you found one from this list that interested you so you can pick it up this spooky season. Comment down below, let me know what you're reading, if you found a book off this list, if you've read any of these books. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I absolutely had a blast filming it, in case you couldn't tell, but feel free to subscribe if you like bookish content. I make videos on Sundays and Wednesdays, or at least that's when I post them, and I'm doing a lot of really fun spooky Halloween content, lots of vlogs and whatnot, so if you like that, please subscribe. I have bookish social media linked down below, where you will get even more content from me. And until I see you in the next video, I wish you happy spooky reading.